So what we've tried to do is to structure a course that allows the students to start with a very theoretical background on conflict and to look at issues relating to conflict from a broader perspective than just water. So looking perhaps at gender, at the environment, at various issues uh, in relation to, to both peace and conflict. And of course the University for Peace is one of the best place, uh, places to, to do that. I think we started to realize around the, the turn of the millennium that the pressure on the water resources in, in the world are, are increasing and actually are reaching the limits of what nature can provide us. This implies that, uh, that the pressure on the resources is increasing and also that there is you know, more competition between the different users over the water resource. But then we started to realize, actually UNESCO started to realize that uh, there is need to train uh, Water managers and water specialists in the, in, the, in the skills of how to mediate between competing users. And then we realize that normally engineers do not have these type of competencies. Yeah. And that's why uh, we, we started to, to develop a course of water conflict management. And then later uh, we, we came to learn, of course, the initiatives of Oregon State University. We also got to learn uh, the University for Peace. And then we decided to, to combine our strength and to, 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 to try to develop a, a unique program that combines these different uh, uh, competences that we offer in the, in the three different universities so that we can train uh, a new generation of, of water managers that are deeply uh, exposed to, to the different ways of how water can be a cause for cooperation despite the fact that we normally are told that water is, is a cause for conflict. So in, in water resources, um, well, in water diplomacy, we know they're, they're very difficult uh, diplomatic issues, uh, real tensions between sets of countries or sets of actors uh, around water resources. And generally, you have people trained in one of two areas. The people who are trained in water, they're trained really well technically, and their approach is problem solving. The diplomatic people understand that there's a process involved. You think about the interests and the values that are behind positions and how to craft a discussion, but they don't understand the nuance of water resources. And so to be able to train people who can do both, who can think about water and look, understand enough about water to see the very nuanced uh, sets of relationships that can offer a uh, potential solution, and understand political process or the conflict management skills to be able to have the right conversation to implement those solutions. That's what we're hoping to do with this program. The students start in Costa Rica at the University for Peace looking at that very general context and background on the theory of uh, conflict and peace and of course cooperation. I like the place, University of Peace, it is it's a great time to be there. Once they've done that, they come to UNESCO IHE to focus on water and on water-related topics, in particular water conflict management. Um, as some have pointed out already, it's a very much skills-oriented, and so we provide students with tools to think about how to design a process uh, to facilitate dialogue between parties in dispute. But we also give them other topics, such as water governance, which is really a way for them to, to try and analyze and look at processes in relation to decision making uh, for water resources management. So as a way of identifying who the actors are, what kind of uh, dynamics are happening between them, so that facilitates the design of the process for managing conflicts. And I think for any person who wants to know much and more about water, yes, definitely you have to come to your school. <laughs> What the students then do when they transfer to Oregon State University is to apply the skills and the theory that they've acquired both uh, at UNESCO IHE and at the University for Peace. And they will be doing a collaborative project at Oregon State University in particular, in addition to the other uh, activities they will be involved in. And we feel that's very important because it will give them an opportunity to try out um, everything that they've learned in relation to water cooperation and peace in a practical context under the supervision of academics. We will have a great time at Oregon State University because I think that we are going to change what we have at the tier level into practice.
ways of traveling around to the three different institutes, we get a different perspective, different cultural perspective, different perspectives from the different professors. So in that manner, I feel like we're getting the strengths of, of each program. Uh, definitely, I believe the program is offered by three different institutes in three different countries and also in three different education systems is an advantage and added value also to the program. Um, and this program offered um, not only the focus of water but also the inter interdisciplinary approach that was, uh, was really important to me. I believe the program and the course structure of the program are very much in line with the global water issues in terms of their uh, content and practicality.